Hello and welcome back to Star Sector. In the last episode, um, we got rather a lot of money smuggling uh, drugs and supplies through some trade disruptions um, and, well, yeah, kind of pissing off the hegemony and the independence while we were doing it. Um, so I've been having a think about what I want to do this episode and I think it would probably be worthwhile us aligning ourselves with one of the major factions. Um, so we've got a few different options available to us. Uh, the big ones of course are the Sindrian Diktat, Tritachian and the Hegemony. Um, I really don't like the Hegemony uh, so it's probably not going to be them. Pirates, very very negative, definitely not worth the effort. So out of the other options, the Sindrian Diktat are only really in Asconia. Um, the Hegemony, rare. no, don't like them. I think it might be worth us heading to like Valhalla and possibly skirmishing with, well, maybe not Valhalla. Um, uh, let's find somewhere to skirmish with the hegemony hopefully where they don't just have military bases military 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 uh military okay yeah valhalla i think is probably our best option because um while we're fighting the hegemony there the tritachion guys should like us um Yes, well, that's the theory anyway. Okay, so we're going to um, head into hyperspace, make sure we've got enough fuel for the trip, um, and head up to Valhalla. So, first things first, let's make sure we've got enough fuel. Fuel's cheap, may as well just buy it on the uh, open market. Well, now we've got some money, we may as well just buy it on the open market. And we'll pick up a few supplies as well, because they've dropped in price as well. There's the jump point. And sure, we've only got two ships at the moment. Um, but we might be able to pick something up from the uh, Tritachions before we start attacking the uh, Hegemony. And we also might find a suitable mercenary captain while we're out there. So, we've got the Ragnar complex, which I think is... Uh, yes, that's Hegemony. So we'll go to the other one, um, the Valhalla jump gates. There is a lot of fighting going on over here. Let's see, we've got some privateers, some bounty hunters, some pirates, some pirates. Let's get in on this. Okay, so we're outnumbered and it looks like these guys are not doing too well. But at the same time, pirates tend to fly around in D-class things. Let's join the battle. I'm going to deploy all of mine. And, uh, yes, let's see how this goes. Um, Lasher, Wolf D, Kite, 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 Hound, K. Okay. Make sure we're getting the missiles away early, because they uh, they do recharge, of course. Nice. Good work. Let's 
fire right up their tailpipe. Nice. What else do we have available? Um, these guys look like they're making a run for it, so let's go after them. Uh, you see, I've got three. Uh, so I mentioned this in the last episode. Um, uh, command points we use to give orders. Um, so I'm going to order my other ship to actually intercept this wolf along with me. I mean, I could tell him to escort me, that's probably better. Ah, oh, he managed to retreat. Go on, salamanders. Damn, too far away. <laughs> no! Damn, right. Uh, this guy's left. Whoops. <laughs> and he is a long way away. Nah, he's gone as well. I think that's everyone. So that should be some combat experience for my green troops at least. Yeah, let's join the pursuit. We'll deploy all of our ships again. Uh, it costs supplies each time you deploy, so if I'm going to keep doing this, I should probably go and get more supplies. Um, let's see, they're probably retreating. Um, we've got these guys coming in from the side. I think us, yeah, coming in from the bottom is probably the most beneficial. Um, let's get my lasher to head after that, and I will personally head after this kite. What else do we have? That. If only you could order them to, you know, not go through cloudy nebulas, that would be beneficial. <laughs> oh well. If I go around it, I should be able to go slightly faster and be able to cut him off. Nice. Alright, so we just got this other one. Whoops. <laughs> Good to get. Excellent. Good work. Nice. So that's improved our relationship with the independents. So we're still negative, but not too negative. Um, pirates, yeah, we don't care about. A little bit of money, salvage. Ah, excellent. Supplies to recuperate the ones that we just used. Fuel, um, we don't actually need that much, but I suppose we could take extra. What happens if you're excess? 
Oh, it costs extra supplies. Um, all right, we'll ditch that because we don't need it. And sure, we've got the cargo capacity for this lot. Well, most of this lot. We may as well. Lovely. Um, yeah, basically our green crew, most of them have uh, reached regular. Um, one of our veteran has reached elite and we've gone up to level six. Let's uh, pop in here. Um, I'm actually going to get another technology aptitude this time. We can get a little bit more flux capacity if we want. Um, yeah, I kind of think that's probably worthwhile. Um, what else could I do? A little bit more armor, ordnance, target leading for the um, the point defense guns that could be beneficial. Um, okay, so I'm going to do dispersion rate actually, and uh, capacity. I'll try and keep myself a little bit well-rounded. Um, where were we headed? Oh yes, we were headed up towards Valhalla. So we'll actually break away from this lot now. So that fight all seems to be done. Uh, repairs are complete, which is good. And we will try and avoid some of these storms, which make you more visible. You can see all these big pings from around the area. Go. Ragnar, no, Valhalla, yes. Valhalla, better. Yeah. Um let's Yeah, let's head towards uh Yggdrasil. Okay. So what do we have around here? Um Good, Yggdrasil is Tritachion. We do have a couple of uh, uh, hegemony things. Uh, this moon appears to be theirs. This moon slash planet appears to be theirs. Um, but we've got the um, siphon platform as well over there, which is Tritachion. Uh, looks like there's some... Um, that could be a fleet uh, around... Yeah, convoy. Um, okay, so Ratatosk is barren and bombarded. Yggdrasil and Needhog. Let's go have a word with Yggdrasil. Uh, there is nothing there. Okay, let's go have a look at Needhog. Uh, also nothing. Okay, what do we have in the area? Um, I suppose we could go check out Scarthy. Uh, Scar yeah, Scarthy and Mimir. Ah, it's the wrong sort of blue, isn't it? Niflheim will also be empty. Uh, that's slightly disappointing. Uh, I should have paid more attention. So yes, yeah, Scarthy and the Mimir siphon platform. They are the correct sort of blue. All right. No problem. Uh, well, we'll swing past uh, Raysvelg and Ratatosk um, since they are owned and we're not hostile enough to matter yet. Um, we can see if there are any mercenaries. Not here. 200 supplies and take them to the Mimir Siphon platform. Well, I don't think we can fit 200, but we could always buy some and take them over anyway. Uh, let's get rid of that that, because they're just taking up space. Nothing worthwhile on the black market, by the look of it. Salamander pods. Thumpers, annihilators, autocannons. All right, supplies here are 77 per unit. We may as well buy these uh, at this price 
anyway because I'm feeling that the siphon platform over there is going to be shorter than anyway. So as long as we make more than uh, 5,601 credits after tax, we're good. Um, otherwise, it's no big loss. Uh, we do use supplies all the time, so let's uh, see what ships are available. Mm, nothing interesting. Enforcer sounds interesting. Four small missiles and five medium ballistics. Wow. Omni shield. This thing sounds like a beast. Interesting. And watching my videos back, I realize that I say that an awful lot. Um, but all of this wealth of new information is, to be quite <laughs> frank. Okay, so this possibility I might come back here with my transponder off to buy that. There it is. Ratatosk. Hopefully we'll have a mercenary. No. <laughs> Harvested organs. No. My nemesis. Uh, carriers. Nice. Uh, another enforcer. Yep. On the open market. Ooh, mule combat freighter. That would be interesting. Uh, the uh, blurb for it before sounded uh, quite cool, um, but we don't actually need that much fuel capacity. Cargo capacity is excellent though, um, so it's something like that is uh, heading towards a legit trade operation. Um, but let's head over to Scarfy. That's ultimately what we need here. Uh, that's in Ema. And another nice star. <laughs> yes, automatically flying around it a little bit. I'm glad to see there is some sanity. It takes a long time to fly over there. All of these bounties are running out. Trade disrupted at the uh, Ragnar complex. Where is the Ragnar? Oh, it's down there. Ah. No, I don't want to go down there. Let's keep going to Scarthy. <laughs> and I'm keeping my uh, transponder on because I don't want to piss off the Tritachyons at all. I mean, we do have the slight advantage that none of their goods are um, uh, sorry there are no illegal goods in Tritachion systems okay what comp yay mercenary officers excellent what do you like uh, what can you do steady good and a nice general loadout sounds good Alright, let's put you on my ship. There we go. So yes, she's come with a little specialization, which is alright. Uh, helmsmanship, which is excellent. And power grid modulation, which as you know is one of my favorite skills, because I always pick it. So you can go in the Manticore. And over time she will earn experience, much like we do, um, and we'll be able to level her up in the future. Uh, let's have a look, see what ships there are available here. Some shuttles, um, another lasher. Could get a hound on the black market, but I think if we're going to do some black market purchasing, we're going to head back over and get that bigger thing that we saw. Let's have a look at the cargo available. None of that is particularly interesting. What are the prices of supplies? 78 per unit. That's. That's hardly anything. That is awful. Four credits per unit. Sells for 78 per unit.
price, four credits per unit. Something's worked out wrong on the maths there, surely. 85 credits per unit. 76. Oh, I think it's probably getting the math slightly wrong um, because I haven't actually sold it yet. Well, like I said, it's not a huge loss. I guess we'll just hold on to those for the moment. Let's have a look at the black market side of things. Again, nothing we are particularly interested in. Okay. Let us leave and go to the uh, Mimir Siphon platform. Mm, nothing that jumps out at me. Rare metals is interesting. Um, let's see if there's anything like that available around here. No. No rare metals. <laughs> Recreational drugs though. Try attacking on guys are cool. I are pulse laser. That's got a good range actually. Um wonder how that compares to what do I have on this at the moment? Point defense laser, uh DPS seventy five, DPS one five two, the range is better. Cause the problem that I have is usually not to do with missiles coming in. So the IR pulse laser uh, could be beneficial, ah, but it uses a lot more flux and that is likely to cause me problems. Yes, okay. I mean, I suppose if we had only IR pulse lasers, it would kind of be funny because we would be effectively cooking <laughs> the bad guys. Um, but yeah, not as it is. No, that's fine. Those are all fine. Yeah, I don't think we're going to buy anything new here. Okay, um, let's go back over to uh, Ratatosk area and try and sneak in. And maybe we'll spend a lot of money on that ship we could see. Actually, uh, let's take a visit to the Ragnar complex first, actually. And uh, actually, now that I think about it, events we can click on, um, which is a quick way to see what's actually going on with these um, uh, trade disruptions that we've seen. So at Ratatosk, um, looks like their mining exploits are getting a harder time getting off world. Uh, the same for volatiles from this siphon platform. Uh, same fuel from the Ragnar complex and finally Scarthy is having trouble importing fuel and recreational drugs and yes uh, notes that there was hostilities between different uh, peoples Huh. So that's going to last at least three months, and it's been going on for three weeks. Oh dear. I didn't really consider that could be a problem. So there's a chief investigator down in Corvus, and she's in charge of an investigation into the smuggling of, well, basically everything that I was doing down there. And there's another two and a bit months, at which point the independents... Um, who do also include Glasnir here um, will become inhospitable to me. I'm not sure I care that much about that. Uh, sure, it's uh, not great, but there could be far worse, is uh, what I'm getting at. Let's uh, continue down to the uh, Ragnar complex. We'll skirt the edge of the. Uh, Nebula clouds, though. Hmm. 
maybe just cut through this corner. Who are you? You're looking for the hegemony. Does that mean you're Tritachion? Oh, look. You're neutral. Maybe I can join in on them. Hey guys! You're hunting hegemony. No, you're just patrolling now. Fine. Yes, I, I'm starting to think that uh, I would quite like to um, get access to one of the uh, military shipyards available. And the Troitachyon seem as good a people as any. They're not as far away as the Sindrian Dictats, um, and I've not pissed them off as much as the Hegemonies, so it seems like a pretty good option to me. Ooh, there's the Ragnar Complex. What's that? Oh, that's the Relay. Uh, I don't think I want a Relay. What is a Relay? Um, okay. So just like a news transport thing? Fair enough. That does not look safe. You should get away from that star. Oh, there's a smuggler there, though. Right. Hey, another mercenary officer. What can you do? Uh, gunnery implants. Very basic officer, but that's... Yeah, that's fine. Um, can I hire you for cheap? Yes. Excellent. Now, are there any ships worth buying here? <laughs> that's quite cool. Uh, I mean, the, the fuel usage is not, but the fact that it can make slower ships go faster is excellent. I suppose if you get a large enough fleet, then getting some tugs in there will mean that you can move around and still pursue... Uh, yes, yeah, if you're hunting uh, smaller ships in larger ships, uh, for example, it could be beneficial that way. And, ooh... A Medusa or a hammerhead. Did want a hammerhead before. What's the Medusa like? That seems pretty. Oh, it's got a face skimmer as well. Oh, yes. I want this. I very want this. That's nice. That's nice. This all looks really good. Um, still only medium weapons, but two of them at least. Uh, so that's a destroyer class. Let's have a look at the next size up. What sort of thing? Yeah, that starts getting large things. Do any of the destroyers have large? Actually, some of the destroyers have small. Oh, I suppose they're like civilian transports and stuff. Um, destroyer, medium, 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 medium. Enforcer, yeah, medium. Combat freighter, yeah, so I guess cruisers and capital ships are where we start getting to large mount weapons. Yeah, large. The thermal pulse getting at that thing looks massive. Ooh. Okay, so I need 36,000 plus money for uh, equipment. I do actually have enough at the moment. Um, yeah, okay, let's sneak away a little. Um, obviously, we've got to be careful for all of these uh, patrols around here. But I'm going to disable my transponder and then go dark. Uh, no, go away. Don't, don't get, cl don't get closer. There is no one here that you need concern yourself about. <laughs> Just gonna buy a nice ship from here. <laughs> Bye. And it looks so pretty as well. Right. Um, let's go to my fleet screen. Crew under strength. Yes, I need to buy some more crew. Um, but also, I need to transfer myself into the Gorgon. And put all of the 
good crew in it. Yes, this is much nicer. Uh, the ISS Hubris, I think, will get uh, Lieutenant Varda. And Balga, uh, sorry, Lieutenant Balga will uh, sit in Manticore. Yes. This is looking good. Right, let's buy some, uh, let's, let's buy enough people first in order to be able to uh, actually fly these things. Um, so we need 75 in total. So let's take it up to 100. So we've got a little bit of excess as before. What else are we short on? Um, we've actually got more cargo capacity now, of course. Uh, more personnel capacity. Fuel's fine. Um, these look good. Let's go to the refit screen and start putting things on. So, we've got universal hardpoints, which is, I think, the first time I've come across these. Um, so they can take both energy and... Nice. Okay. Uh, not a huge amount of weapons available here. Um, what I might have to do is mothball this and go somewhere that I can actually equip it. In the meantime, I can put a couple of other things on here though, such as stabilized shields, which I like, uh, and hardened subsystems. Um, may as well whack these up to maximum until we actually get some weapons on. I don't think there's anything else worthwhile putting on here for the moment. Also, that doesn't cost anything to have uh, done this equipment. Um, yeah, so I've got some medium energy turrets. They're going to be good. The small ones around the edge. Lovely. All right, back to the uh, fleet screen. So I want to mothball this for the moment, which is this one. Um, mothballing a ship means that basically you can't use it for any reason. Um, you've still got it with you, but it just it kind of goes into a limbo state. Uh, so it's useful if you just purchase something without actually having anything to uh, equip on it, kind of like I have. So let's mothball that. Um, does mean I've got more crew than I need. It's going to cost a little bit of extra supplies. That's fine because we're going to zip back up somewhere that we can actually buy some gear for this. Um, we will do that quickly. Let's leave. And we're really wanting to get away from them. Come on. Just keep on your regular patrol route. There we go. Nice. And we can stop being dark. And our speed is uh, slightly uh, slow. Um, uh, the uh, the calculations down here for your fleet speed and such is based on the ships uh, ships in your um, fleet. So I've got a maximum burn of nine on this, um, but I think mothball ships slow you down extra. Um, but even so, that gorgon is going to slow me down by one in comparison to the uh, frigates that I had before. Go away, hegemony. I don't want to fight you until I've got guns. I said, go away. Oh, nice. You can see my uh, other ships orbiting my Medusa. How are we getting? Yeah, getting there. Oh, did I even check out what was available on Niflheim? I don't think I did. Oh, I should turn on my transponder before the Tritachion get very pissed off with me. I think Niflheim is probably empty. Yes. 
but I hadn't checked, and it's important to check these things. Alright, let's uh, go to the uh, refitting thing and see if we can... Uh... Yes, good. Okay, so there's actually some equipment here that we can uh, buy and fit, so uh, at least we've got some options. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this episode here, um, and next episode we will pick up with the refitting and planning of my new Medusa. Unmoth actually, I'll unmothball it now so I don't forget. Uh, Let's go fleet. Uh, there we go. On mothball. Good. That's better. Um, supplies. That's fine. They're all good. We're using a lot of supplies to unmothball that, but that's also fine. Excellent. Good. So yes, um, at the start of next episode, we will go um, shopping for bits, um, and then, fingers crossed, we can uh, pick a fight with. Um, the hegemony and properly get this show on the road but for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time <laughs>